everyone and welcome back to Sandy Says. In today's video, I am showing you how to assemble the Baby Trend LTE stroller wagon. If you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you also how to open and close the wagon. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every week on baby gear tutorials and reviews as well as toy reviews and tutorials. So I'd love it if you'd stick around. Thanks the first for watching. thing that I do when I assemble anything is lay out all the pieces to make sure that I have them. And with the Baby Trend Tour LTE 2-in-1 wagon, you're going to have eight pieces. You are going to have two front wheels, which are the smaller wheels. You're going to have two back wheels, obviously. You're going to have the axle, the soft panel organizer, the actual wagon frame, and then the canopy. Next, you are going to remove any of the cardboard pieces. There's five or six on here. It actually seems super over packaged. And then to assemble the wheels, you're going to want to open up the frame so it stands upright, and you're going to do that simply by pulling it apart. On your rear axle, you're gonna have this little bag. It's the caps for your wheels, and then this little bag is your spare parts. Next on your axle, you're going to remove the pin that's already on the inside. And then you're also gonna remove the washer. So this part is loose. Once you've done that, you wanna take your wheel, your rear, your rear wheel, which is the bigger one, spoke in, and you're gonna slide it in until it clicks into place. Once you've done that, you're going to re-add your washer. Then you're gonna add your pin back in. Push firmly until it is snugly in. Then you're gonna to wanna to push everything so it's all the way up to the side as far as it'll go. You're gonna line your cap up with the four indents on the inside and then push it in and you're gonna need to push firmly. And now your wheel is attached. Repeat that same process on this side. So you remove your pen, you remove your washer, add your wheel, spoke side down, until it flushes, add your washer, add your pin straight side in, push firmly, then push everything up to the top. Line your cap up with the holes and then push down firmly. To add your rear wheel to the frame, I think it's easier to turn it on its side and then you're gonna find these two push buttons on the back side. And then you are going to line your frame up and that back axle is gonna slide into here and it will click into place into this hole. Just push the button down until you hit it. Turn the wagon upside down on the opposite side and then that little push button makes it so you can remove these wheels for them to fit more comfortably in your car. Your front wheels are also removable so they're going to have that little indent in the front where they click on and that's going to snap into this piece and that's going to snap onto this button right here on the front, and you wanna do it with the pointed side towards the button. Wait until you hear it click. When you hear it click into place is when you know that it is secure. And then you will see the button eject on the underside, and that's also how you know for sure that the wheel is on there properly. Once you have your wheels on, now you can add the accessories like the canopy and the cup holders. And it just slips into these frames on the side. Once you have it lined up with the frame, you simply push down until you hear it click. Repeat the process on both sides. To add the parent cup holder tray, you just attach the straps to the handlebar through that and then Velcro it firmly. And you wanna do this above the brakes so it doesn't slide, slide down. 
And that is how to install your baby LTE stroller wagon. Super simple process. If you'd like to see a review on this, please click the i card down below and hit the subscribe, subscribe button. That will be up in a few weeks as well as many other reviews and tutorials on lots of baby gear. Now when you're all done with this stroller and you're ready to close it up, all you're going to do is push these, hand, push these little gray levers. There's two on either side. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your umbrella is completely folded down. You're gonna push your levers and then your handle will slide down and your wagon folds up. If you need more room in your car, simply just remove the wheels. For a secure closure, you're gonna to wanna to take this gray lever down at the bottom and make sure that it connects to that knot. Uh, this will not do it on its own, so you need to make sure that it does it. And then to open it, open your wagon, you simply pinch your bars together, lift that up, turn your wagon flat, and then lift the handle. Um, it helps if you push down on the brake bar a little bit, and then you'll hear it click in Thanks to place. Thanks for checking out this video. If you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button. And if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.